So what are these things I'm working on? <coughs> Dad. Yeah, what are these things? Yes, what is this? A bellows. A what? A bellows. A bellows, right. Yeah, very good, very good. And what are we going to use them for? A uh, truck. Nope. The uh, mom truck? Nope. See? Nope. What is it? The forge. Forge? Oh. The red truck? No, no, the red truck's just just my Toyota. Well, then what is the forge? This is going to be my forge right here. That right there? Yeah, that's going to be my forge. Then why was it the piece of the little smoking thing? The a pe what? The smoky piece? thing? The, the little smoking thing that's to the pool. Why is, was it supposed to be like that? Well, it used to be. That was a fire pit. Now it's going to be a forge. Forge? Haven't you watched my video series? Uh, not, uh, no. Ugh, that's wonderful support that I get. Guess that means I got enough blue in there. Now what? You give me back the hammer? Then I want to hold the hammer. Okay, fine. Hold the hammer. How did you saw that so quick? I'm talented. Anyway, so I just drilled a hole in the middle of my valve, and that probably is going to be madness, but uh, as I get along here, you may see why. Okay, I'm going to explain the... I'm going to explain this hole now. This is the valve. It sits like this. And what happens is this hole is for this rubber seal, and what it does is it provides a little bit of back pressure to actually force this, this rubberized... Uh, this rubber diaphragm against the surface here to actually create a nice tight, airtight seal. So it's been uh, mounted around the perimeter with spray adhesive and once that cures it will never move again in life. So will it work? Absolutely.
Well, you've watched it. You can't unwatch it. Uh, got the valves built. I uh, heavy bastard. Anyways, got the valves built. They seem to be. That was weird. I uh, I'm. I'm just, well, we just cut, but, yeah, a guy pulled up in this beat-up old Winnebago and uh, was asking me about, asking me questions about my uh, neighbor's uh, Volkswagen minibus that's parked in his yard that hasn't moved and probably never will again in life, and uh, then he was asking me about my uh, motorcycle in here, wanted to know if he could make an offer on it, he offered me $200, I was like, wow, that's... Uh, it's not going to happen. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I'm going to set this up so it'll, uh, so it'll hang from its, uh, pins that I had drilled for it, and I'll set it to hang from the jack stands, and, uh, clean up this mess, and, uh, it looks like the next step is I, I may trim this excess material here just to lighten these up, because they don't need to be hanging on the the fabric. Uh, I don't need that weight. Uh, I now have a little bit of some doubt. Uh, I was going to, that same material that I used for this is what I was going to use for the bellows, the, the fabric of the bellows. Uh, I remember it being much more durable than this and I mean this is, don't get me, don't get me wrong, it's very durable but it's very prone to tearing. It, once it, you know, sort of like once it's got a place to start, it it just wants to tear. So I'm not sure if that's going to be all that great or not. So I'll probably use it, and if it fails, you know, then we'll replace it with canvas, or which is another issue because I want to get some really heavy canvas, and uh, I'm not sure I can get it local without. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can get it local without having to buy a huge roll of it. And I don't need a hundred yards or whatever. It need you know, I need like. 15 feet, 16 feet, I don't know exactly how much I need, but, uh, anyways, so, uh, I, I have plans on sealing the, the wood here on the bellows, uh, I haven't decided whether to seal it with like a clear or just go ahead and seal it with, uh, I was thinking about just using some paint, and, uh, uh, you know, real thin, almost like a, a black, it'd be a black, almost like a black stain. Just something to, to kind of help weatherize it. But anyway, just coming along, and uh, that's it for today. Bye.